What's going on YouTube? Subum Saint bringing you another review. This time I'm bringing it on the Fishbone Plus RDA by a company called iCloud Sig. So, before I jump into this review and give you guys my take on this RDA, I wanted to kind of say, hope everybody had a awesome Halloween. Um, hope everybody had a fun, safe time, had a good time with their kids. If you got kids, if you don't got kids, then I hope you had time watching kids get free candy. Woo! But anyways, let's get into this RDA. I say we dive down up close. I show you guys the build deck. I even post up all the specs on this device and all that good stuff so without further ado guys let's do this Alright guys, here we are, up close with the boxing of the Fishbone Plus. Purer than purer. If that makes any sense to you whatsoever. Right here, unique top design avoids overheating e-juice spilling, ceramic deck for pure taste. Top air hole design, no leaking. Alright, let's pop her open. As you can see, you do get your bag of goodies. Some pre-built coils, O-rings, little blue screwdriver, extra screws. Do get an extra glass, which... Alright, here we are. This is the Fishbone Plus. Nice, nice, not bad. Nice copper 510. Now, as you guys can see, there's another piece of glass that's in there. Your coil will sit right by here. That's where your airflow comes down. Goes on the outside of that glass that's on the inside, and then underneath, and then up. So, let me see if I can... Get my little doohickey out so I can show you guys this deck. As you guys can see, velocity style deck. See the little ceramic here. We're gonna we're gonna get on about that here in a little bit. Right here is the whole airflow system thing here. See where the airflow comes in through there? Right there on the outer side of this glass. As you guys can see in the drip tip, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it does have like a little spiral thing. It's supposed to prevent spit back. I mean, it does, it does okay. You do have to build your coils pretty low and all that to reduce the spit back it still comes up through there now as you can see about how it does this is this will sit right here right in between these little ceramic things this is where your airflow will go through not a bad little concept not a bad little concept at all um not a big fan of this ceramic deck it is it is removable you can remove it but let me go ahead and show you guys this. As you guys can see this one. Broke it. Broke the little nub here. This is on my second time rebuilding on this RDA. And it broke off, you know, trying to get my coil just situated just right. You know, as if you were having your coil here, this thing would block it try to lower your coil and then it's, it, it broke off so yeah but anyways you take that screw out the bottom this is how you remove it 
Now, I wouldn't recommend vaping on it like this, but no. Right there's what it looks like. Would be nice if they came out with like a stainless steel section of it just to prevent it from breaking or came out with an extra one of these because it did kind of make me mad. The whole breaking of it, you know, I was pretty mad because I haven't even gotten a review out on it yet and it already broke. So definitely be careful when you're building on this. Definitely have to keep your coils in the deck. As you can see, the deck is... It's not rounded. It's got sharp corners. Or the juice well has sharp corners. It don't have that whole rounded scheme to it. So it is a pain in the butt to kind of position your coils. Because you have to... You have to have your coils go on the inside of that one little glass piece. Because you get to slide it in there and it's going to hit your coils. So you got to make sure you build it pretty close to the post. Definitely, definitely a pain in the rump. Now there is no adjustable airflow. So you got to make way with what you got. Alright guys, let me go to the screen where I tell you guys all the specs and then we'll go back to FaceTime and talk about this thing. Here is the specs for this Fishbone RDA, just in case I don't mention them in the video, at least you guys can see it. So, hey, can't say I didn't tell you. Anyways, let's get back to FaceTime guys. Okay guys, that is my up close and personal with this RDA. Sorry, I kind of got a little bit of a runny nose. But anyways, that was my up close personal. I do have a little bit more cons than I have of positive things, I guess you can kind of say. Um, my first con that I have with this RDA is the ceramic base. I get it's supposed to change the flavor and make it more pure tasting. It doesn't change the flavor all that much for me. It does just a wee, wee, wee bit. But other than that, like I showed you guys up front, it easily breaks. They don't give you a replacement. And yeah, it's. I gotta admit, that kind of peed me off. So, uh, let's see. Then there's the adjustable airflow. You don't have no adjustable airflow. I hate that. Uh, it is a little airy to me. I would like to have closed it down a little bit and get the full flavor effect, you know. That would have been a plus. Also, it would have been nice if you guys let me use a drip tip, man. I don't want to always use your drip tip. Don't get me wrong. I like this drip tip because it's a wide bore drip tip. But at the same point, it's like, you know... People want to use their options and all that. Now, on the plus side of this thing, it looks cool. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It looks cool. Uh, I like top airflow. Everybody knows that I like top airflow. I mean, the O-rings, they're, they're good. They're perfect. They're nice and snug. Got the perfect amount of tension, resistance, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. Um... <laughs> Screws are pretty good. I haven't had no problems with them backing out, clipping my leads, none of that. Uh, overall, I like it. I just... The build deck thing kind of made me mad. Because, you know, I had to find another one to use for this review since that one broke. So, I... That kind of disappointed me. I'd have liked to have seen them maybe use stainless steel, like those little stainless steel bar things. But, you know... I guess that's why I don't design RDAs. I just review them. But anyways, guys, that is my take on it. You can get these for about 25, 30 bucks. I will put a link in the description on where you can get some of these. Um, they do come in stainless steel and black, so check them out. Check them out. Vape budget friendly. So, without further ado, guys, you guys have a great rest of the week, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Gotta show you guys some cloudage, man.
See you guys later.